In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to create a simple title card in Video Leap. To make a black screen title card, all you have to do is tap on the text icon. Next, I'll type in some text. I'm going to double tap on the screen. To place text on a new line, just tap on return and continue typing. Tap on the check mark when you're done. To resize your title, pinch and zoom until you get the size that you want. Be careful not to rotate the text as you're doing this. You can change the font. Just tap on the font icon within the text options. You have all of these fonts available to you. To select one, just tap on it. I'm happy with the font that I have, so I'll just go back to the options by tapping on the back arrow here. You can animate the text. I'll get into that later, so keep watching. And I'm going to move on to effects. To choose an effect, just tap on it. These effects are available to be used for free. These last three can be used only if you have a paid subscription, either monthly or lifetime. I'm just going to have a basic white title, tap on none, and go back to the options one more time. You can change the color of the text. Just tap on color and choose your color. I'm going to stick with a basic white. So I'll tap on white once more and go back to the text options. If I go back to the main timeline and tap on canvas and then background, you'll notice I can change the color of the background. Just tap on color and select one of these colors. I'm going to stick with a black background. So I'll tap on black and go back to the options one more time. I'll tap on the balloon thumbnail to select the text layer. The next thing that I'm going to go over in the tutorial is how to animate the text. When we tap on animation, you have three different animation settings. 
in, overall, and out. In refers to what happens when the text first appears on the screen. Overall refers to what happens while the text is visible on the screen. And out, you guessed it, refers to when the text disappears off the screen at the end of the clip. We'll start with in. I'll tap on in, and you have many different animation options. These first ones are free and can be used with any subscription. However, the last few, in order to use these, you need to have a paid subscription. You can try them out without a paid subscription, but when you go to export your clip, you'll be prompted to pay for the upgrade at that time in order to export your video. To choose an animation, tap I like scale. You can increase or decrease the length of time the animation takes to come in or out using this slider. I'll leave it like it is and go back to the, the animation options one more time. And I'm going to tap on out. I'm going to choose the same animation. You'll notice that there's a pink box around the text layer. If I tap on the screen to unselect it, that pink box will disappear. Let's take a look at our title card without the text layer selected. This looks great. The next step is to export the title card. So I'll tap on export. I'll choose my resolution and FPS settings, and then I'll save it to my photo roll by tapping on save. Now, if we open up a new project, we now have an empty project. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign to add a clip play through it to make sure it's the one I want to use. And then we'll add our title card by tapping on the plus sign because this is going to go into the main timeline. We'll add this last clip here. To rearrange the order of clips, all you need to do is long press on the clip and drag it to the position where you want it. And now we have our clips in the right order. To add text at the end of a clip, what you want to do is tap on the text icon once more. Stretch it out a little bit. Because Video Leap knows that this is the end of your video clip, double tap on the screen to edit it, and then type your text at the end of your clip. Let's take one more look at the final clip and then we'll export it. Here we have the title card, the original video clip, there's our end credits, which just say thanks for watching. And of course, if I unselect the text layer, you'll see the pink box will disappear. The final step would be to export your clip and save it. Just tap on export. Choose your resolution and FPS setting, and then tap on save to save your clip. Wait for the export to finish.